Alright, how's it going guys? Welcome back to another video. This is on the PBE today and we're playing Pantheon Support. Now I know, I think I've done one video on this in the past of Pantheon Support, but there's a new item in the game and it's a new support item and you may or may not have read about the way that the support items have changed for Season 10, but I thought that this was so interesting and it opened up so many possibilities for a lot of weird and strange bot lane supports that could potentially be and I don't know about viable, but certainly way more viable than they were before uh, with this new item. And it's called the Spectral Sickle. It's basically just an AD version of Spell Thief's Edge. Now that may not sound like a tremendous amount, but considering what it can give for AD uh, supports bot lane, or champions that can actually like get some use out of the AD and are a little bit more aggressive, it's actually kind of big. Before when I used to play Pantheon support, I'd have to go for uh, Relic Shield just because Spell Thief didn't make any sense to go for him. Ancient Coin was kind of like, yeah, well, maybe I could go for that purely for the fact that um, it actually gives me mana and I can spam spears, but beyond that, it doesn't offer a tremendous amount to the table. I think my ADC is AFK, actually. I may need to, we may need to remake. Watch me teleport all the champions out of this game and make new champions. Okay, finally, that, that took a very, very long time for us to get into a game there. Not a lot of people playing on the PvE. Had some people trolling as well who were, I want to play mid. Oh, I don't, don't want to play mid. Oh, God. Regardless, we're ready to give this a try. As I was saying earlier, this item seems to be like a really cool thing that I want to try out with a couple of other, maybe even 80 carries. Like, I mean, Senna just got released and she's like a marksman uh, support and... Uh, I haven't actually had a chance to properly try her. I'm interested to know a couple of things that I want you to comment down below. Uh, some AD supports that would actually work pretty well in the support role. I think Ash is one that I want to try, uh, but there may be ones that I'm missing. Like I think people are saying that even Varus could potentially work because he has a Grievous Wounds built into his kit that would be really, really, really strong on uh, sustain lanes like Soraka, like uh, with the uh, Yumi, Nami lanes like that. And also he's got like a really decent amount of poke as well. And also, I want to try some stupid stuff on Senna, but I don't know some really stupid cheesy builds that we could actually try. So if you know what stupid off-meta pocket pick Senna build, or hell, any pocket pick build that I could try out, I'm always eager to, to know a little bit more uh, and know what you guys are, like, pulling out of the bag. Like, what, you know that kind of build where you're like, it shouldn't work, but it do? You know, like, your attack speed cannons and all that kind of jazz. The builds that, like, when you're tilted and you want to tilt the enemy team or you want to have some stupid fun, you whip this out of the bag, that's what I want to know. Also, this is my first time playing on the new Summoner's Rift, by the way, so I don't want to say, like, apologies for being bad, but I literally walked to lane there, and then I was confused about the bush. So there's going to be a couple of things that I am not completely privy to. I, <laughs> like, I, I, I barely understand the way that the, uh, the new, like, dragon system works and stuff like that. I get some damage out of that. Very nice, very nice. Let me just get one of these. Very, very nice damage. I reckon that's kill potential, actually. So yeah, Pantheon. I mean, I had some pretty decent success running them in like a really bizarre lane, which was uh, Braum and Pantheon, with the way that like their passives kind of like worked so perfectly well together. But um, I mean, with this, it's almost like do you just not heal? I think he might have healed actually. Okay. Traded it. Uh, and there's like, I mean, in this lane as well, I reckon that, you know, if I had any mana, if I had any mana on this earth, you keep flash for it. If I had any form of mana, oh my goodness. Or if I still had flash, actually, that would, uh, if I still had ignite, that would be so free. Regardless, with the way that this works now as well, you don't actually have to like, I was about to say put effort, but you kind of, you don't have to put any effort into like upgrading, um, upgrading your support aim. It just does it automatically. So when I hit like a certain amount of gold, whenever I leave combat, it'll give me an upgrade. And I think they're taking away some of the um, the statistics on it in favor of that. But I mean, I get, when it gets to full, I get 35 attack uh, damage, a little bit of health, and I also get rewards as well, which is, okay, it's not gonna break the bank as far as like AD goes. Like it's not a crazy amount of AD that's gonna like change the game up or anything. However, you know, compared to like when you're running Targon's Brace, uh, when you're running Relic Shield that goes into like Eye of the, uh, Eye of the Watcher, I think it was, it's a significant difference as far as like damage is concerned. It's like a, a good bit extra damage that you get from it. Whereas it would be like, since you're playing support, you obviously don't wanna run full AD and not get wards. But this way you can have AD 
and you can have wards and everybody's happy except maybe your ready carry it really depends to be honest <laughs> depends if he's okay with you playing uh, pantheon support but i mean I've, I've been running pantheon support for like a pretty long amount of time and uh, i've never had a tremendous amount of like problems with it as far as it goes uh, i always thought that it was pretty decent this is like a bit of an awkward lane we definitely have like particular uh power spike like areas where we can actually like do something uh, it's just a case like oh hold on that may actually be it pop the flash keep going got this. oh my god we just wah we just run him down dude just run him down straight down no mercy boys oh very nice really 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 nice star actually i mean i i mean i'm getting i'm getting picks like left and right here I mean, to be fair, she was full HP. All I did was W onto her and then run her down. And then it's like, what are you gonna do about it? I should be getting a bit more money out of my Q. However, it's a Yumi and an Ash, and I'm very concerned. I feel like if I'm gonna go in, it has to be one of those going in moments. So I don't really want to spam range Qs and have higher cooldowns. I'm losing out a little bit of money, but at the same time, I, I definitely think that we are. We're getting the picks and we're getting the gold from the kills, so it doesn't really make too much of a difference. My Ignite is now back up, which is fantastic. We're doing well across the board as well. And I'm in a lane with Illusion, so we have a real I honestly think that like we are absolutely golden as far as like as far as like fights go I really don't think maybe six Yumi and Ash might have some chance of like winning fight but they would it would have to be like very specific set of conditions that would stop that from happening I'm actually just gonna go straight on that because I am not scared by them at all right now they're really 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 low I reckon I could dive that actually I'm gonna I'm gonna go for I'm gonna go for a dive onto that I have got I've got my my W my E up sorry so I can I can make the decision That's it. I think she's dead. No, wait, I didn't ignite. We got their ignite though. Hold on though. Okay, sorry. Uh, oh my god, we killed her before she went back into went onto Amumu. <laughs> oh, in midair, dude. In midair. Yeah. Now we've got our uh, our our like support aim's been upgraded, so it gives us like it's doubled the health, doubled the the. Uh, the AD on it as well, which is super duper nice. And now we are uh, support. We've got rewards, so nobody can flame us. We're doing a lot of damage, nobody can flame us. We've got decent utility. We can bait people out with like abilities and stuff like that with our E. Now we've got like our, uh, our, our uh, roaming ability as well. I guess like I'd say if I had to compare this to anything, it's like an AD version of maybe like Bard or an AD version of like Alistair. Someone who like a, a support that like really really benefits from roaming around the map a little bit more than your average support dude this is this guy is like literally hard camp and balling like come on yeah a champion that like benefits from getting picks in other lanes basically i mean similar to like how pantheon like always old pantheon works where you 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 get your benefit out of like snowballing other lanes and you snowball other lanes really really nicely no, that's really really awkward that is one dead luck so it's dead though i've already committed to this this is a per decision but we're doing it anyway Can I get out of this scenario? I do get out of that scenario. I made it. I made an executive decision to not necessarily go for the kill there, and instead turn to stop the damage. Wait for it. Wait for it. Wait for it. It's gonna come up soon. Nice. We saved the Lucian as well. I think he was fine, but we did get up. We did end up getting picks here. I really hope that this video maybe inspires somebody. To, like when when season ten drops, when preseason drops, the new items. Just give Pantheon support a try. I, I mean, even before even before this like became a thing like before um before pantheon like um got like the new support aim and stuff like that before this all happened i was a advocate that he actually worked really really well in bot lane anyway um prolux here <laughs> actually fully blown beta dude that <laughs> see that's the thing about pantheon support people think oh he's support he's squishy he's got no health he's got nothing up but um, my E baits out always like a madman. Like actual free little bait now always. There we go, we got the pick on that. I am getting out of here. No, he's, is he full AP? He's full AP, dude. I like how this Yumi is like completely abandoned. The uh, <laughs> completely abandoned the Ash. I don't blame her really, but it's just kind of funny.
Oh my goodness. And he didn't die. I don't think we can win this game. I honestly do not think we can win this game. That is, I, I know we're focusing a tank, but he, he does so much damage. He's got 19 kills. I don't, I don't know how. I don't know what we can do. My brain is melting watching this happen. I think we can win this if we just like split. Right, they, they've actually abandoned him. I need to back off here. There we go. I think we could probably get something out of that. If a Mumu is dead, they're kind of like, they have nothing, really. We need to make the most of a Mumu being dead. This is like so not what I want to be doing going for like Locket on, a, on Pantheon. This is just not what you want to be going. But I feel like desperate times call for desperate measures. And this is most, uh, this is what we in the business like to call a desperate time. I think we're going for it. I think we're definitely going for it is what's happening right now. If I see a Mumu, I am happy to throw my life on the line just to try and delay him and stop him from coming in on this. I feel like that's one of the few options that we might actually have. Where, where is the Mumu? That's my, that's the question on my lips right now. Okay, we got Infernal, we got Infernal. That works, that works. Oh my god, I actually got burst by her there. <laughs> Oh, she's still on the thing. Dude, oh, my E was like about to come off cooldown. I was actually kind of like, I could probably win that. You can really tell how desperate I've gotten with the uh, the lock at the Iron Solari though. I'm like, oh, it heals like what? All right, so it shields for 300. And I'm like, yeah, I mean, Amumu's doing probably around that, maybe a little bit more with his ulti. So I'm just like, if I can get that out and block the ulti, I mean, we still got a whole lot more to deal with like Lux's ulti and stuff like that. But if we can just have that not be the biggest problem that we have to deal with, that would be fantastic. She actually got it. Okay, fantastic. There is no universe in which I reckon that we win this. And if they get it, we're gonna be in a big, big heap of trouble. Here it comes. We got it at least. Oh, we're getting the, we're getting the the elder dragon executes executions. Ah, oh my god, we're getting the executes, dude. What a game that got me going big time, dude. Uh, that was uh, that was an intense game. Is that her execution range? There's no way that no way that bar is her execution range, right? No, that's the execution range. I see. Want to say that Yumi probably wants to hop off right around now. Ah, there we go. Boom. Double execute. Nice. Good game. What a game. I had a lot of assists. I had a lot of deaths as well, but that kind of comes with the territory. That was a very, very tough game, though, but we still ended up winning. So, am I saying that Pantheon's a better support than Yumi? I don't know. You decide for yourself. Probably not, but dude, we didn't buy Grievous Wounds until like 30 minutes in, I swear. But yeah, thank you very much for watching this video. I hope that you did enjoy. If you did, please drop a like and please consider subscribing. Drop your um, your crazy picks you maybe want to see in bot lane with uh, the new AD uh, support changes as well. And uh, have a fantastic day. Take care.